Hello, hello to all of you, my organic farming enthusiasts, and welcome to our tiny garden. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn these bones into this 100% organic bone meal that is so rich in phosphorus and calcium. So come along, let me show you exactly how to do it. So we are going to start by cleaning our bones and you can use whatever kind of bones that you have available. You can use beef bones or chicken bones. In my case, I like using beef bones fresh from the butchery because I like making bone broth fast that I use in my soups and in my stews. Now, bone meal fertilizer is such an important organic fertilizer because it is a slow-release nutrient source of phosphorus and calcium. Phosphorus is very important when it comes to root development, flower and fruit production, and calcium is very important when it comes to cell wall formation, strong cell structure, and the prevention of diseases. Bone meal fertilizer will improve your soil structure by creating a favorable soil environment for your plants by enhancing soil water holding capacity and therefore increases microbial activity and improves nutrient retention. Bone meal fertilizer is also an organic and a sustainable option. Once you're done cleaning, put all your bones in a cooking pot. In my case, I'm going to use a pressure cooker. So I'm going to require about four hours for my bones to be ready and brittle for crushing. If you're not using a pressure cooker, you're going to require six to eight hours of boiling. Just remember to keep checking your bones after every one hour to ensure that you have enough water. Otherwise, you are going to burn your bones. Since we're going to be boiling these bones for several hours, I choose to use charcoal. You can also use firewood. This is definitely going to save you a lot of gas or electricity for that matter. Once your bones are ready, we are going to rinse them with hot water. This is because we need to remove any debris from the bones. And of course, we're using hot water so that if there's any fat left in the bones, the fat is not going to solidify. When it comes to organic farming, it is very important for us to understand that we are feeding the soil. We are feeding the microorganisms in the soil because it is the microorganisms that are going to decompose all these organic fertilizers to nutrients that are available to the plants. For instance, in the case of the bone meal that we are making, phosphorus that is available in bone meal is only available as calcium phosphate. Now, calcium phosphate is not available to plants. That is why we require microorganisms to break down this calcium phosphate to phosphorus that is available to plants. This decomposition and mineralization process is dependent on several factors like temperature, moisture level, soil pH, and definitely microbial activity. Our bones are now well rinsed, and if you happen to have any stubborn bones, don't worry about it. Just take a hammer, hit them, and they should be able to break without any sweat. So next is to dry our bones. We need to dry our bones very, very well because bone meal fertilizer can store up to one year. So what you need to do is to evenly spread out your bones and allow the sun to work its magic. If your day is not as hot, then you can use an oven for this process. Our bones now are very dry and very brittle. So we are going to crush them with a hammer. First, get a bag that doesn't pierce easily, put all your bones inside, and then start crushing them with a hammer, like so. Please note that bone meal is not a quick fix for phosphorus deficiencies in plants. In a situation where immediate phosphorus availability is required, then other forms of phosphorus fertilizers such as phosphoric acid or soluble phosphate salts can be used. I highly recommend that you use foliar formulation for this purpose because remember we are on a journey to healing our soil so we do not want to add any harmful synthetic chemicals to our soil. You can continue crushing your bones using a hammer until you have a fine powder. Alternatively, you can use a pestle and a mortar or you can use a grinder. So I decided to use my very small grinder for this process. Trust me, it does a very good job. So we are going to pulse it just a few times until we have a very fine powder. We are then going to sieve this powder because we want to catch any stubborn bones. When crushing and grinding your bones, it is very, very important that you have some form of protective gear. Please have some goggles and because the process can get very dusty, always ensure that you're wearing a dust mask. And this is our final product, 100% pure organic bone meal. 
go ahead and label your bone meal. Remember, I told you that it can store for up to one year. Always remember to label any fertilizer that you make at home. Otherwise, you may just not remember what it is. In terms of application, it is important that you apply this fertilizer to your soil way in advance before you even start planting your plants. Remember, it is a slow release fertilizer, which is amazing because it is going to provide a steady supply of nutrients over an extended period of time. So depending on the kind of plants you're going to grow, you need to use one to two tablespoons of this bone meal fertilizer to a square foot. Spread it out evenly. After that, you're going to water your soil and then remember to always add mulch because we need to provide moisture for microorganisms to do their magic. Some of the plants that you can grow that require a higher amount of phosphorus are root crops like carrots, potatoes, beets and radishes, fruiting plants like tomatoes, peppers and melons, and finally brassicas like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower and kale. You can still use bone meal fertilizer in established plants, especially if you have plants like tomatoes and this is indeterminate tomatoes. So you're going to sprinkle it around your plant, incorporate it into the soil and finally water your soil. And there you have it, your own homemade 100% pure organic bone meal. Of course, bone meal is available commercially and you can easily get it from any agricultural shop. However, if you're the kind of person who likes to do it yourself like I do, now you know exactly what to do. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this kind of content, please share it with anyone who might be interested.